And these slides are interesting because they are about gaslighting, right? Um, I have a video on my YouTube channel. I go back to it. I also uh, take in took inspiration for that YouTube channel from my experience with different Draco uh, because they are, of course, master at uh, gaslighting. But sometimes so are the non-spirited beings here or other beings, sometimes because of denial and cognitive, cognitive dissonance, right? So... Gaslighting is a psychological effect um, that we experience when our perceptions are being invalidated by the shadow projections of others. Now, even when you practice assertive communication, um, it's not going to work or be effective or have the result we want, we would like maybe for it uh, to have. Uh, when we are dealing with someone who is gaslighting you and someone who is manipulative. So the, the media is gaslighting us all the time with all their engineered narratives. And it's been going on for all, forever with all these um, contexts. We, you know, it's, kind, it's completely creating the reality we think we are experiencing. Um, and I think the more we are walking to create our microverse within the context of our home and where we live and uh, our psychic abilities as well. We, we, we feel it more and more that there is a sense of fakeness about what's going on. And um, sometimes some of their narrative, we might even not be at all interested by, by them and kind of, um, you know, it's really not your cup of tea. It's always been my case with the more political stuff, like, uh, for example, Antifa, it was really something that I, I never really looked into. And it, it just, the frequency of it was really not my cup of tea, right? But in my work with other other reels, especially because this is the reels that they are uh, tracing and um chasing uh, to kind of uh, spider web them into these uh, narratives because when we are busy with this narrative we are not uh, focusing on uh, deprogramming ourselves or creating content that helps other to deprogram or um, solidify really alliances or relationships that are valuable to us. We find a lot of this doom and gloom, you know, we find a lot of that in 2020 with the, it's kind of the same. The, um, now we're in this uh, context also, uh, you know, with uh, the, all these contexts try to activate our survival programming. You, If you were already with the, the alternative um, scene of information, there was still a lot of survival programming with, you have to become autonomous, you have to become independent, uh, you know, you have 10 more years before uh, your, um, if you're a truther, you're, you're going to be refused from, from the smart cities and all of that. And it, it still activates your, your survival programming because you're like, oh yeah, I better get to it. Right. And this is all part because these are fear, fear states, right. Where you do things in a different order when you're afraid than if you were not afraid and if you were calm. And we know that very well. And that's exactly, you find a lot of uh, doom and gloom narratives created by all the, these cabal players. Now, when you are either gaslighting someone or being gaslit, you have cover and screen memories about what's been really going on. And then usually with time, you are breaking free from programming. You are kind of revisiting. That's how you break uh, through false memories. Now, gaslighting is a form of handling that deflect the energy and that invalidate your perceptions because we have all this to offer and that's how we would like to express, but we're not, um, we, it, it can be discouraging until we have found other players who are playing on our levels and who are kind of making similar choices about the experience that they want to have here. Some of your friends, some of our friends are gaslighting us when they are telling us their handlers are so wonderful and that they have, uh, had been having such a great time together and that they were healing together. Uh, they are in fact in cognitive dissonance, right? So it might be triggering, especially when you know that these are their handlers, but of course you cannot tell them because they have to kind of discover that themselves and 
you know, uh, is sometimes it's really not our place when people are not ready. So sometimes the psychic pressure uh, of the other person's vision, because you can psychically tune to how they are perceiving reality, which usually is upside down, can make you doubt uh, your own perception, your own experience, um, if you don't trust your clear abilities enough, right? Uh, and especially when it's being repeating, repeated, that's the repetition of it coming to your field that is kind of tiring as well. But it's only the pretense of an untrue version of reality. Uh, it deforms the image you have of yourself and it encouraging negative self-talk. Now, gaslighting is a debilitating thing happening because we're not it's it makes it harder to make decision and to uh, stay strong with our boundary setting um gaslighting makes it uh, harder to trust ourselves now we have been and can be used and have been used to gaslight others around us even people we love um due to our limited uh, beliefs and our limitation, right? We are all the time kind of slightly gaslighting each other because of our programming, but there is also a percentage to gaslighting, right? It becomes a problem at a certain level. <laughs>